Hi, for this video what we are going to do is we are going to solve a radical equation. Um, in this one it's very very important the more complex your equation is, um, the more important it is to make sure that you check your work. So with this one remember that our first goal is to make sure that we get the radical alone on one side so as you can see it's already alone on the left hand side. So what we are going to do is we are going to square both sides. With this, you have to remember that x minus 2 squared really means x minus 2 times x minus 2. So when you go to the right-hand side and you square this side, you cannot just put x squared minus 4. That's the biggest mistake that I see when it comes to these types of problems because remember that you do have to FOIL this. So you have to go first times first, first times last, and then you have to do the middle and then the last. So you do have to make sure that you remember to FOIL that. So on this side what happens is the square and the square root just cancel each other out. So we are left with 3 minus x plus x squared. And over here what we're going to use is the shortcut. For this it's always the first term squared because x times x is always x squared. Then it's twice the middle term because we have a negative 2x here, and we also have a negative 2x here, so if I add those together, I get minus 4x, and then negative 2 squared gives us positive 4. This is the part right here that I see the biggest mistake on, is this term is usually left out, so be very, very conscientious that anytime you are squaring a binomial, that you do have your middle term included in your um, work. So now what we want to do is we want to get all of our information on one side. So if we look at this, if I were to subtract x squared from either side, these end up canceling each other out. So we don't have a quadratic equation for this one. We just have a linear equation because the x squared terms cancel out. So now what we want to do is we want to get all of our x terms on one side and all of our constant terms on the other. Since this one is the smaller of the x terms, I'm going to go ahead and move that one. Um, I tend to move that one just so that I'm dividing by a positive always. Um, it's perfectly okay to move the negative x, you just have to deal with a negative sign, so you just have to be careful. So that ends up giving me 3x. I'm also going to move this 3 to the other side since I want to have all of my x terms on the left and my non-x terms on the right. Um, so if I simplify this, I end up with 3x equals 1, and we end up with x equals 1 third. Okay. As I've said before in other videos, it is always, 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 always important to check your work, even more so in radical equations because you can have what are called extraneous solutions where it seems like they should work, but because of the sign, because we squared it up here, remember if I square a negative or a positive, it always gives me a positive, so we have to check to make sure that this works. So when we go to check this, we would replace our x's with one-third. If you're using a regular calculator, make sure that you put the one-third in parentheses, um, especially when you go to square it. So with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a calculator to help me out with this to see what it ends up giving. Um, I'm going to use the TI-84, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the store feature. So I'm going to do 1 divided by 3, and I'm going to store this for my x variable, so I'm going to hit alpha x. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in my entire equation. So I'm going to do the square root. And then, if you remember, it was 3 minus x plus x squared, so I'm going to actually put that whole thing in. So I'm going to do 3 minus alpha x plus alpha x squared. And when I hit enter, this gives me 1.666 repeated. Um, if I wanted it as a fraction, I could do math answer as a fraction and it will convert it to 5 thirds for me. So I want to make sure that the other side also gives me 5 thirds. Um, so this side ended up giving me 5 thirds. And on this side, if we notice 1 third minus 2, um, if I take x minus 2 and plug in the other side, 
I end up with the negative of this value. So this ends up giving me a negative 5 thirds. This is not equal to each other, so this is what is known as an extraneous solution, where it would work if it was a quadratic, but because it's a radical, and I end up with a negative on this side, this really has no real solution. So our answer to this would be no real solution. Or if you're working in set notation, you would say that this is an empty set. As always, thanks for watching. Please make sure that you remember to always check your work. Have a wonderful day.